Hey guys, Amanda here. Okay, so I wanted to do another DBT video. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so this one is about emotions. So I'm just going to read um, from this paper, if you can see that. I got this from the partial program. So hopefully it'll help you in some way. Alright, so what you need to know about emotions. Being able to name emotions helps you manage them. Have you ever noticed that you often don't know what you feel? Do you sometimes feel like you're walking around in an emotional fog, knowing that you feel bad or upset, but not being able to really name the emotion you're feeling? If you don't know what emotion you're feeling, it's really hard to do anything about that emotion or to help yourself tolerate it. Once you can put a name on an emotion, you can often figure out what to do about it. The job of emotions. Another important thing to remember about emotions is that they are there for a reason. They all have jobs. Whether you experience an emotion it's there to tell you something. For example, anger often comes up to motivate us to work towards change when there's something we don't like about a situation. Anxiety comes up when there's something that could be dangerous to us, motivating us to leave the situation or to protect ourselves and so on. Sometimes people become more emotionally sensitive, which means that their emotions get triggered more often than they need to. You might find you get angry over something that seems small and wouldn't normally bother you. Or maybe you feel anxious in a situation where there really isn't anything that's threatening to you. You still can usually see why the emotion has come up in you even if it seems to be an overreaction so the point is to not the point is not to try to get rid of your emotions you need them instead you want to be able to manage them more effectively and not let them control you so that speaks volumes to me hold on the sun is starting to come up over the trees and it's like right in my eyes by the sun. See, it's like, pff, that's weird. <laughs> it looks funny. Oh, wrong one. Sorry about this. Okay. That's better for me. <laughs> okay. So, this speaks volumes to me. I relate to what that information just portrayed. Um, because we all know we all have emotions one way or another and for me personally I try I don't like feeling the negative emotions such as anxiety sadness anger whatever it hurts I don't want to feel them however I know that if I want to be able to move on, then I need to stop. And this is partly getting into mindfulness because I went to DBT yesterday. So I'm kind of mixing it together. So what I would do, and this is from yesterday, is, <clears throat> excuse me, your thoughts lead to your emotions. So if I am thinking that I'm not good enough or that people are out to get me or whatever it is that I'm thinking, that thought causes anxiety and then it causes fear and so on and so forth because I'm choosing to have this thought go over and over and over and over. So what, um, what I can do is to stop in the moment right now what is going on with me right now that is that I'm thinking this so stop and isolate your thought and then ask yourself I would ask myself is this thought 
based in reality. So if I'm thinking the world is out to get me, is that really a realistic thought? Really? No, it's not. There's not people coming up to my windows or coming to my apartment trying to hurt me. Nobody's doing that. It's not based in reality. So isolate your thought. Recognize the thought. Acknowledge it. Even if it causes a negative emotional reaction, that's okay. We're supposed to have emotions. And then what can you do about it? You can't do, like, say something happened in the past that really affected you. It's in the past. It's done. It's over. You can't change it. But what you can do or what I could do um, for, say, something that happened in the past that is affecting me now is to say to myself, okay, I am not in danger. I am safe. I am okay. I am alive. I am here now. So I'm going to focus on right, right now. What can I do right now to better myself, to help me with these thoughts? So in that case, I would say, okay, I'm not in danger. I am okay. I'm here. That person, that situation, whatever, cannot hurt me. I choose to not let that thought or those thoughts control me, control my emotions. I'm going to take charge of them as best I can. So that's what it means to me, and that's partly what we learned a little bit in DBT. Um, you know, that that you're in control of your thoughts and your emotions and having the skills to deal with that thinking in terms of DBT thinking in a dialectical way not whatever way that you're dealing with it now um, however there was something I did not agree with her about she is only speaking from DBT perspective and her perspective seems to be focused on people who don't have a mental disorder. A lot of the people that go there have an addiction issue. So what I don't agree with is that when you're in like when I'm having an episode of hypomania or mania that is out of my control at that point. I can't stop my thoughts. They are going way too fast. So I think when <clears throat> you're in a calm, balanced, you know, state and you're doing okay, then this is very helpful. But if you're having an episode, I don't think it's going to work. Um, so just keep that in mind. When you're stable, I think it's something that could help you. It could help me and anybody, mental illness or not. Um, so that's just what I wanted to say about that emotions and mindfulness being present in the moment like a child think about when you were a child you didn't care about what happened that in the future you don't care about what happened 10 minutes ago you're sitting there in the moment playing with your friends riding your bike playing on the jungle gym whatever you're living kids live in the moment and that's what I'm trying to do is to live in the moment of course there are things as an adult that I must keep in my mind. However, I'm not going to let those issues, like right now I have some financial issues, but I'm not going to sit here and think, oh my God, I have these financial issues. How am I going to pay for it? What am I going to do? What if, what if, what if, what if? That's not helpful. All that does is create anxiety and fear. And then it overtakes me. So instead, my thought is, yes, I have these issues. But I'm going to deal with them one bill at a time. You know what I mean? And make a budget. And that's a plan. Make a plan. Okay? Recognize your thoughts. Recognize your emotions. Say it's okay to feel this way. And then move on. But when you move on, make a plan. Okay? So I've already done this plan. I'm My mother's helping me manage my, my budget. Because I'm not that great with money. Um, so she's helping me with that. And I'm getting my bills paid as needed and, and what I can afford. And that, that releases the anxiety. I'm okay now because I have a plan, a realistic plan with a realistic goal. 
Okay. So I just want you guys to remember this. Try to make a healthy plan, a positive plan that will help you now, right now. Not yesterday, not 10 years from now, but right now. And I know this is hard. It really is. Especially when you have a lot of cognitive distortions. It's hard to think in a different way. It's changing your behavior. And that's a hard thing to do. You need at least 30 days to start changing over to a new routine or a different way of doing things or whatever it is. And DBT is no different. So... I just want to put this information out there. Try not to limit yourself. I know it's scary and I know it's hard, but it is helpful. And regardless of what I think or feel about the instructor, it's not about her. It's not about my feelings toward her. It's about me and what I can do for myself to help enrich my life and be able to choose to be happy. And that's what I want. I want to choose to be happy. I want to choose to take control of my life and not let bipolar, whatever it is, run my life. I am choosing that. And it feels good. It feels good to take that power. It feels good. And I like it. So I just wanted to share this with you. Hopefully it was helpful. If you're not ready for it, that's totally... It's coming down. That's totally okay. All right. I am not sitting here saying go to DBT and it'll work and magic and whatever. That's <laughs> no, it is a lifetime commitment. It is something that you practice over and over and over again, you know, so those and, and you know what? A lot of people I've heard say DBT didn't work for them. But what I noticed a pattern of people saying that is that they didn't try the skills they didn't want to try the skills. They didn't want to do anything to help um, their situation or their mental problems or whatever. They weren't in that mindset to do that. So maybe that's why it didn't work because they weren't ready for it. And that's okay. If you have a counselor, talk to your counselor about it. Some counselors, a lot of them are social workers. They a lot of them can get trained in DBT training and can do DBT right there where you don't have to go to um, a DBT group necessarily. Um, so just keep that in mind, you know, and just, just try it, you know, try it here, try it there. It's not always going to work. You know, not everything works. There's things that work and things that don't. That's just how life is. The sun is annoying me. Um, shining and coming into my face. Anyway, so I wanted to share this with you. I hope this was helpful, at least to some of you. Um, if you're not ready for it, that's okay. I'm not passing judgment at all. Um, it is hard to do a DBT course because it challenges all your thought processes. It challenges your cognitive distortions and it's scary and it's hard, but I think it's worth it because I want to be happy. I want to choose to be happy. I want to choose to have the life that I want and not be driven, um, sorry, not be taken over by an illness and be miserable. I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be unhappy. Of course, yes, I'm going to have episodes here and there. That's okay. I accept that. But I also accept the fact that when I'm not having an episode, I can be happy. I choose to be happy. I choose to challenge my thoughts. I choose to change my emotions. And now I have the power. And I hope you guys, if you're interested in DVT, even if you're doing it, sorry, DBT, not whatever I said, <laughs> um, you know, it's your choice. If you're not ready, that's fine. So just do what you think is right. Maybe this is helpful. Maybe it's not. But just keep it in mind. You know, you're in control of your yourself. You are. You just got to believe it. You got to learn to believe it. Even if at first you don't. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So, okay, well, that's the end of this video. It's almost 15 minutes. But, um, okay, so I hope this was helpful. I hope you all are doing good. Um, 
as you can tell, my cold is gone for the most part. <laughs> I gave it to my son accidentally. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm always thinking about you guys and, you know, you always have my support. If you ever want to talk, if you ever have any questions, you know, feel free to email me. Um, or leave a comment. I try to get to people's comments, but sometimes um, the comments that are left on my Google Plus page, I, for some reason, I can't get to them. I can't reply to them, and it bugs me <laughs> because I people have left me comments, and I can't reply, so I don't want people to think that I don't care. I do care. I care very much. So, in the future, if you guys could leave the comments on my YouTube page instead of the Google Plus page, that would be very helpful because for some reason my Google Plus page isn't letting me see the comments and reply to them. I don't know what's going on. I think all comments, like you click on comment, you can go to YouTube or you can go to Google Plus and it takes you right to the comment and you can reply, but it's not set up that way, is it? So, okay, I'm rambling, but anyway, just leave if you could please leave your comments on my YouTube channel not my Google Plus channel that would be more helpful for me to respond to you alright I'm out um, I don't know if I'm gonna make another video after this we'll see it's almost new time I don't know alright love you guys bye